What is up, you sexy beasts? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Crossfit, 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 what are you doing? In the news again for the wrong reasons. And uh, you guys know, we try and keep it upbeat and positive on this channel, but at the same time, we cover the topics that's going on in our sport, the CrossFit world. And for the last, when did, when did CrossFit move to Madison, the CrossFit Games? 2017, I believe, the CrossFit Games moved to Madison. And ever since 2017, every year, people, athletes, have been getting sick from that lake. I remember uh, Mr. Zeke Grove was this close to dying. He was this close to death. Well, that's what he tells me anyway. The last time, when's the last time you made it to the game, Zeke? It's been a long time. But whenever Zeke made it to the game, the last time, he, uh, he almost died. Um, I was with, I was with um, Royce last week, and he was saying that uh, he was rooming, his roommate was Sam, Sam Cornier from, um, Mayhem athlete, and uh, he's one of the athletes alongside Emily, Emily Ralph, who came out and expressed their frustration and their concern with the E. coli problem in the lake at Madison. And uh, the Morning Talk Up released a great article and a great video today. Um, all credit to them for doing all the back work on this story. But essentially, the CrossFit Games requested um, for the water to be tested in the lake prior to the game starting last year and the results came back as the level of E. coli in the water was not safe, it was unacceptable. It was, um, what does it say? It says the E. coli levels did not meet the current EPA health standards. So essentially, the feedback from the health authorities were, the lake's not fit to swim in. And uh, what did the CrossFit Games do? They went ahead with that event and it sounds like many athletes got sick last year but the two athletes that spoke out was Emily and Sam both kind of just talking about their frustration you know training so hard as a CrossFit Games athlete and then getting sick after the first event at the CrossFit Games and then for them to find out that the organizers were aware of the water not being up to standard not being safe but yet still pushing ahead it's um it's not great. Now last year wasn't the first year that this has been an issue. It's been ever since they moved to Madison, uh, athletes have reported, you know, getting sick, getting diarrhea, throwing up after swimming in that lake. And so it just begs the question, why haven't they changed to a different lake or to a swimming pool? Why have they continued to jump in that lake knowing that athletes are getting sick and it's putting athletes at risk? Now E. coli, you know, it varies from, from mild symptoms to, you know, life-threatening symptoms. But I think the biggest issue is that these athletes are going into an incredibly intense weekend. So it's a combination of getting that, like getting that bacterial infection or whatever that, that is, and uh, then going and smashing their bodies for the remainder of the weekend. I think that combination is where the danger lies and the frustration lies, you know, for these athletes that have worked so hard. I guess then the deeper question is, who's been making the calls? Like, where does the buck stop with who? Um, who receives that inf information from the health authorities in medicine? Who gets that result back and then decide, you know what, we'll go ahead with it anyway. Um, and you have to think, that has been Dave Castro, right? He's been the guy at the top of the uh, the food chain when it comes to organizing the CrossFit Games. And so you can only imagine that he has to be the one who makes the final call on whether things go ahead or not. And although I don't think this particular situation directly relates to Dave's firing, um, I do agree with Justin LaFranco from The Morning Talker that it's indicative of maybe Dave's decision-making process, um, kind of like, hey, it's my way or the highway, we're pushing ahead, we're getting this done. Um, you know, it could be an indication of, you know, perhaps why the leadership at CrossFit um, wasn't a fan of the way that Dave um, ran things. What do you guys think? Obviously, CrossFit at the highest level, it's pretty risky. And I'm sure these athletes go into the CrossFit Games weekend you know, knowing that something could go wrong, there could be some injuries, there could be, you know, things might not go to plan. Um, but where's the line? Where's the line when it comes to the amount of risk you're willing to take on as an athlete and also the responsibility of the organizers? Is the risk of getting a coli from swimming in the lake, is it similar to the games allowing the athletes to do mirth in the sun where they might get heat stroke? Like, is that on par? You know, where is the line and what, um, at what stage do you kind of pull the pin on a certain event, um, how do you kind of monitor that level of risk? Do you think making the athletes swim in that lake year after year, is that an acceptable level of risk for the CrossFit Games to place 
on these athletes or do you think that's gone too far? It's gonna be very interesting to see whether the CrossFit Games responds to this story and how they respond. Do they take responsibility and kind of tell us what the plan is for the games this year when it comes to the water event? Will they shift the blame? Uh, to Castro perhaps. If I was a betting man, I would say that there won't be any lake swimming or lake events in the 2022 CrossFit Games. And if I was a CrossFit Games athlete, I would jump in the pool and start practicing my laps because I reckon they'll be going to the university and swimming in the swimming pool this year. Man, Sam had to go on an IV. He was extremely sick. And it's bad enough for any athlete. You know, it affects any athlete's ability to compete at the games, the thing they've been working up for all year. Can you imagine if someone like Tia Claire Toomey got E. coli and had to withdraw from the competition or couldn't perform to her best and missed out on that fifth consecutive win? I think that there were enough horror stories in 2017, 18 and 19 of athletes getting sick in that lake. So for the games to then go again in 2021 after finding out that the water wasn't safe, I don't think they've got much of a leg to stand on. I think it's pretty bad. So. I'm really hoping that in 2022 they just scrap the lake and just do something interesting at the pool. I saw Baden Brown repost the Morning Chalk Up article and he was saying, haha, think we were all squeezing tight from both ends. So uh, yeah, it sounds like there are many more athletes that experienced some bad stuff that just aren't willing to, you know, people don't want to sound like whiners. People don't want to be the one to complain. They just kind of, you know, they just get on with it. But um, yeah, I don't think it's fair towards these athletes. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, I tried to deliver that story with a smile on my face and excited about life, even though it is a negative story, but it is what it is, you know? My tribe, stay safe out there. Don't go swimming in lakes. We can catch a coli. Just swim in the pool, okay? And uh, stay sexy. Keep roaring love, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.